The monastery of Saint Ivan of Rilla lies at 1,147 meters in elevation, in the middle of the fragrant coniferous forests that cover Rilla mountain, 117 kilometers south of the Bulgarian capital of Sofia. The largest and most famous of Bulgaria's Eastern Orthodox monasteries, it is surrounded by a nationally protected forest called the Rila Monastery Nature Park. The land's preservation is intimately linked to Bulgarian Orthodox Christianity, the dominant national religion. Founded in the 10th century, the Rila Monastery is regarded as one of Bulgaria's most important cultural, historical and architectural monuments. Bulgaria's Rila Monastery is a symbol of national identity, representing the persistence of Bulgarian culture and faith, despite centuries of foreign rule. During 500 years of Ottoman domination, the monastery was a sanctuary for the religion, culture, and language of Bulgaria, and was at the center of an intellectual movement that eventually led to the country's liberation. From the outside, the monastery looks like a fortress, it is surrounded by 24-meter-high stone walls, forming an irregular pentagonal shape around the monastery complex. The main entrance contrasts with the austerity of the stone walls. Entering through the main gate, the visitor is surprised by the architectural style that characterizes the monastery complex, a combination of arches and colonnades, covered wooden stairs and carved verandas, together with a residence housing over 300 monastic cells. In style, the monastery is a characteristic example of Bulgarian revival architecture from the 18th and 19th centuries. The monument symbolizes the awareness of Slavic cultural identity following centuries of occupation. In the middle of the inner courtyard rises the Church of the Nativity of the Virgin, built with three altar niches, two side chapels, and an open gallery. The construction of the present-day five-dome church was completed in 1838, though the next 23 years were dedicated to decorating it with wood carvings and mural paintings. The church's façade leads the eye to the north, to the tall and ragged peaks of the Rila mountain, which seem to be echoed in the arcades of the buildings. The innovative daring and flexibility with which tradition has been interpreted in the architectural design of Rila's imposing church is characteristic of the National Revival period. The church was built by master builder Pavel Ivanovich from the town of Krimin in Bulgaria's Kostur region. It rises on the site of an older church from the time of local feudal lord Sebastokrator Hrelo in the 14th century, but was nearly destroyed in the fire of 1833. The compositional scheme includes medieval elements with Baroque spatial principles an approach which distinguishes Bulgarian church architecture and whose features can be observed in the art of the epoch. Of particular significance in the architectural ensemble that constitutes the monastery is Relios Tower, the only structure remaining of the monastery's original buildings. The tower was built in 1335 in the monastery courtyard by Sebastokrator Herelio to serve as a defense tower. The fortification style of its architecture is enlivened by decorative brickwork. The tower rises 23 meters high, its walls nearly 2 meters thick. The tower's interior is organized into a ground floor with suspended vault and five upper stories with wooden floors. 
A chapel is housed in the tower's top story, its walls elaborately decorated by mural paintings. The upper floors are accessed by stone stairs built into the walls. The monks later built a small annex to the tower to serve as a belfry. The church's open arcade with stone columns and exquisitely curved arches, decorated with ornamental inscriptions, blind cupolas, and a gallery of pictorial scenes representing subjects from the gospel, invite one to enter. The church's narthex consists of a series of small domes supported by the church walls, an arcade that wraps around the west facade and parts of the north and south walls. Thus sheltered from rain, the outer walls and the series of domes are elaborately painted so that they have become a sort of visual textbook of the Christian religion. Above the visitor's head, the domes and their pendentives are adorned with brilliantly colored scenes of Jesus and the Virgin in heaven. The execution of the monumental mural paintings carried on the traditions of medieval art. Yet the New Age set its mark in the way of color, purity of line, and realism, characteristic of the style of the Bulgarian Revival period. The architectural diversity, the natural materials used in making the columns, arches, parapets, as well as the colored cornices and the elaborate exterior mural paintings in the gallery, are particularly powerful. The mural paintings which adorn the church's interior and exterior walls combine a rigid adherence to the canon with a realistic presentation of the images. Participating in the painting were various zographs, or mural painters, of the Bansko and Selmakov schools of art, though Zahari Zograf was the only one to have left his signature and to have dated his murals with the year 1844. A true work of art is the church's iconostasis, remarkable for its impressive size, elaborate wood carvings, along with the architectural elements used to compose it, including an indentation in the center. The church is also noteworthy for its frescoes. Covering every square centimeter of wall and ceiling space, they inspire the worshiper. The frescoes decorating the lower part of the walls depict scenes of hell from the Last Judgment in dark hues, with devils tormenting and tempting the souls of the damned. Rila Monastery was established in the 9th century by a Christian hermit known as Ivan Rilski, or John of Rila, who lived and wandered in the Rila Mountains for 40 years. Despite this isolated way of life, his reputation as a man of profound religious faith spread, and he eventually founded a monastery near a cave he occupied in the mountains. 
Ivan Rielski is reputed to have performed various miracles, including healing the sick, and when he died in 946, his relics became objects of veneration. Pilgrims still visit his relics in the monastery, and he is recognized as the patron saint of Bulgaria. The monastery progressively grew after the saint's death, and hundreds of monks came to live there, meditating and praying, recording religious texts and manuscripts, and cementing the monastery's reputation as a center for Christian art and music. Roads have been built to the monastery since medieval times for the pilgrims visiting Rila. As a recognized holy place for Orthodox Christians, the monastery at Rila has become a center of pilgrimage of paramount importance and stands at the crossroads of several of the main pilgrim routes through the Balkans. The monastery has enjoyed great respect and privileges ever since it was established. Every Bulgarian Tsar from the 13th and 14th centuries to the fall of Bulgaria under Ottoman rule made generous donations to the monastery. The donation deed of Tsar Ivan Shishman in 1378 testifies to Rila's royal patronage that helped the monastery grow into a cultural and religious center of its time. Nearly destroyed during the Ottoman raids, the turn of the 15th century saw the revival of the monastic establishment, aided in large part by the assistance of the Russian Orthodox Church, which gave donations to visiting monks in the form of books, money, and church accessories. The monastery complex grew through and because of its important role as a pilgrimage destination, attracting the faithful and their funds from all over the Orthodox world. The richness of its religious worship and various monastic activities have led to the enlargement of the monastic complex in order to house and serve the numerous pilgrims who visit the monastery every year. The arrival of the Ottomans in Bulgaria at the end of the 14th century was followed by numerous raids, which led to the destruction of the monastery in the middle of the 15th century. Some Bulgarian churches were allowed to stand, but others were converted into mosques. The Ottoman leaders turned control of most Bulgarian Orthodox institutions over to the Greek Orthodox Church. Rila Monastery, however, retained its Bulgarian clergy and continued to conduct services and rites in the Bulgarian language. Thanks to donations by the Russian Orthodox Church, as well as the Rosikon Monastery of Mount Athos in Greece, the Rila Monastery was rebuilt at the end of the 15th century by three brothers from the region of Kustendil in western Bulgaria, who brought John of Rila's relics to the complex. The monastery also became a repository for thousands of illuminated manuscripts, painted icons, detailed religious wood carvings, and large decorative panels known as echinostases. In the late 18th and early 19th centuries, Rila Monastery was at the center of a surge in national consciousness that would eventually lead to an independence movement and liberation from Ottoman rule in 1878. A series of fires destroyed much of the monastery, but it was rebuilt to its current appearance by some of Bulgaria's most renowned architects and artists. In 1991, the monastery was returned to church property. The lands surrounding the monastery were named as part of a national park a year later, but in 2000, these lands were returned to the church and the Rila Monastery Nature Park was formed. The approximately 300 monastic cells forming the monks' quarters are located in the monastery's inner courtyard. The four-story residence, including four chapels, an abbot's room, a kitchen, a library, and guest rooms for donors, is defined by its unique stylistic features, such as spacious verandas, decorative wood carving, paintings, and furniture. Rila is the ancient Thracian name for water, 
and the 60,000 acres of the nature park that surrounds the monastery complex are studded with glacial lakes and rivers. The landscape is characterized by meadows, old-growth coniferous forests, and alpine peaks. Bulgaria is the third most biodiverse country in Europe, although the nature park occupies only about a quarter of a percent of the country's territory. The Rila Monastery is the most impressive monastery compound in the country of Bulgaria. Its architectural and artistic magnificence has earned it a due place on the list of the World Cultural and Natural Heritage Sites under UNESCO protection. The construction of Rila Monastery was an attempt to create a regular and more formal complex of buildings. The Church of the Virgin is aligned with the older medieval Tower of Herelio, both oriented in an east-west direction, typical of Eastern Orthodox architecture. The Rila Monastery is widely considered a highly successful work of architecture. Each of its components has a balanced and symmetrical plan, and despite the fact that its various buildings are not aligned with each other, the resulting complex is not cluttered or confusing, but offers the opportunity to discover and explore the buildings from different perspectives. Approximately half a million tourists and pilgrims visit Rila Monastery and Nature Park every year, making it one of the most visited protected areas in Bulgaria. A management plan for the park has been drafted with the participation of the church, establishing specific strategies for managing tourism and conserving plant and animal species. Bulgaria's environmental decisions are now facing increased scrutiny by the international community. The church's plan is a combination of a three-aisle basilica capped with five domes, each of which can be seen as a cross and square. The result is a church which compromises the Byzantine ideal of a centralized plan with the creation of a long nave along which processions can be held. In the Eastern Orthodox Church, both light and darkness are considered holy, so in most churches a sort of semi-darkness reigns. The church offers another source of inspiration in its frescoes. Every square centimeter of wall and ceiling space is covered with paintings the work of the best Bulgarian painters of the day. They recount biblical events such as the creation story with Adam and Eve, the baptism of Jesus Christ, as well as the Last Judgment. The Rila Monastery and its surrounding landscape have provided natural and spiritual sustenance to the Bulgarian people for over 1,000 years. A curiosity in Rila is a unique private collection of vintage cars and motorcycles. The history of Bulgaria is marked by a series of ambitious but short-lived attempts to produce cars. The collection includes about 50 historically significant automobiles, all produced in Bulgaria, each of which illustrates important developments in early Bulgaria automotive history. The monastery offers a spectacular view of surrounding mountain peaks.